Real quick, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on the GoPros. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that most people do with the GoPros and even on their phones is they always tend to want to put the light source like their windows, usually windows or whatever light they have, they want to put it in front of the camera. So for instance, right now I have the GoPro sitting right in front of the window and it's, it's gloomy outside so it, it still puts a lot of light on me because the GoPros thrive in light. If you're in a low light situation with the GoPro, it may not be that great. But like I said, it's gloomy out right now, like it's cloudy, like it's rainy. And it's still giving me enough light to, to make me look good. And I have it on 4K. But what most people want to do is they want to do like this. They want to put the window behind the subject. And that just doesn't look good. And it, it blacks me out and all you can see is the window. Be toward the light source. You don't ever want the light behind you because it doesn't look good. You know, it's it's a very uh, simple tip, but it's easily forgotten. And a lot of people just can't grasp the, the whole thing about that. You always want to put the light source behind the camera. But hey, just a quick tip, easy one, simple one. Just that alone will change the entire video or picture and make it look like it's professional and make it look great. Today we're going to talk about uh, the GoPro, specifically the GoPro Hero 7 Black, but this will work across all GoPros. Basically, uh, is it good for YouTube? And in my opinion, yes it is. The GoPro is actually a super powerful camera. So if you're just a, uh, a YouTuber that does talking head videos like this particular one, uh, the setup is a little bit easier, especially if you won't be moving around and doing like more to traditional vlogs like Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat and other people like that. You could pretty much just set up on a tripod and you know have a, 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 either the microphone connected to the GoPro or you can have the external mic coming into a recorder, a separate recorder, which will really up the audio because we all know that the audio for the GoPros is like garbage. The 7 was better, but still garbage. And remember that light for the GoPro is, you know, a must. The more light you have, the better the picture will be. To kind of show you guys what I got going on here, I have my Rode video mic. I got it connected to a boom stick, as you guys can tell. And then I have it wired, you know, got some wire coming over there, coming up until my uh, external recorder. And also I have the GoPro on one of my tripods oh there's the microphone up on one of my tripods and this little piece right here you can buy separate i bought this one from small tree on uh amazon then i got my ring light with just a diffuser on it again got to have that light and then of course got the window light but this is a very simple setup compact small this can be used for anybody in anybody's studio and that's pretty much my setup just for when I do the talking head videos like this one. But if you're more of a vlogger, I got you. I got something that would definitely work. And that's this bad boy right here. This is the GoPro El Grande. I know this is a bit extreme. It's a selfie stick. I felt like I felt like Luke Skywalker with this with a lightsaber. Anyways, uh, this is the GoPro El Grande. I got the, uh, the housing on top of it. The cool thing about this <clears throat> is it uses the, it's hard to get, it uses the, well anyways, you guys get the point. It uses the um, the quick clips, you know, that you put like on your helmets and things like that. But for some reason, mine is really hard to get. Oh, and it just broke. The little piece came off of the GoPro. Never had that happen before. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, there's the broken housing piece, but it, it connects on to the You know the little piece that comes for the helmets and things like that. That's how you connect it on the El Grande Anyways, didn't expect that the beauties of a youtuber and behind the scenes But the El Grande I'm a big fan because you can kind of hold it like this And I'll show you I've, I've done some a little bit of vlogging with it <clears throat> And you just kind of hold it like this with the stick down and the GoPro up. And it, it's at a perfect distance. You can hold it closer if you want because we know it's a wide angle. 
but there's a couple other things that you're gonna need for the GoPro. <sighs> now let's say that you do want to vlog, you know, walk around and have your GoPro on the uh, El Grande stick, or, or you can even use a, a Gorilla Pod too if you want. It's the same thing. I just like the stick because, you know, I can extend it way out, the El Grande stick. But we all know, again, the audio on the GoPro is terrible. So there's a little thing that I found, this little gadget right here. You slide it on the GoPro on the housing group on the top like this. And it houses this thing, which you will need this to up the audio. This, this is $50. This is the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to the USB-C end. And this will go slide in there like that. You connect it like that. Then you get this little mic right here. This is the Rode Video Micro. This is a good one because it doesn't take a battery or anything like that. It's compact, just like the GoPro. And you just kind of hook it. Ba boom Plug everything up. And that would be your little setup like that. Now the reason why this is good, it houses the uh, uh, little dongle thing here and this doesn't get in the way of the video. Before, you know, you would have something similar and it would get in the way when you get one of those uh, other housing units. But this is, works for me. You can even get some where this will be on the bottom. That I don't like because still, this will still bounce in the frame because it's such a wide angle. So for me, this is like the setup that I would have. That's the perfect setup, in my opinion. And you can vlog with this all day, anywhere you go. And again, it's super compact, except for this. You know, people always get weirded out by this because it looks like a dead cat or a dead rat. It, it, it looks weird, but anyways, that's that. And one more thing before we end this video. Uh, if you are gonna be getting GoPros and use them and investing in them, just get this little guy right here, this dual charger. That way you can charge two batteries per time because the GoPro batteries really don't last that long. But they've been pretty good for me. They last longer than, than people say they do. A lot, a lot of YouTubers say get that uh, uh, secondhand brand or whatever, but I, the GoPro ones work, work pretty good for me. Three batteries would definitely last me all day and I'll probably still have a full battery at the end of the day and that's recording all day so that's it guys that's probably like my main accessories that i would use for youtube that's all you need for the gopro and again i shoot everything in 4k uh 60 frames per second sometimes 24 but i, I think i do 60 because i can slow it down if i want but again just youtube videos that's everything if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and all that good stuff. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys next time.